All right. Now, when we talk about purchasing good Ultrabox in this country, there are good options available from the likes of the Asus ZenBook, the HP Envy, or even the Acer Swift lineup. However, recently we started seeing more options pop up from well. rather unknown pc brands but actually good established brands that have been creating good laptops for instance we recently took a look at the samsung galaxy book 2 on our channel which is a pretty good laptop and of course there were also the launches of the realme book slim and the xiaomi well the entire lineup of laptops that they have the horizon and the pro and the ultra i was xiaomi has upped their game this time around with the all new xiaomi notebook pro 120 or as our unit here which is the 120g Now there's only one difference between them, which is the dedicated GPU. Apart from that, it's the entire same system. But the question is, is this laptop worth it? And more importantly, is it actually overpriced? Well, let's find out. This is Vaughn from GTR, and you're watching my in-depth review of the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 120G. Also, folks, this is going to be a long one. So for your convenience, like you guys suggested, we have added chapters down there. Without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. All right, so kicking things off, let's just start by talking about the design here. In a nutshell, it's basically what Xiaomi keeps on doing with their design. Just take whatever Apple does and slap a Xiaomi logo on top of it. In a nutshell, but there's a lot more to this laptop. For starters, the design itself has more refined edges this time around. They're much more subtle and add a bit more grip to the device if you wish to carry it around without any sleeves or backpack. The laptop in itself weighs just 1.4 kgs, but the weight distribution this time around is pretty good, to the point where you can pick it up from any corner and won't have to complain. As for the build quality, well, I personally haven't dropped my machine anywhere, nor do I plan to. But it's nice to know that Xiaomi has made this thing out of aerospace grade Series 6 aluminum alloy, which basically means that despite being lightweight, the body is. quite durable too and it's pretty sturdy as well which is evident in how stringent the hinge here is there is no noticeable flex here neither on the lid nor under the keyboard which is another plus point now in terms of io the laptop features a thunderbolt 4 port coupled with an hdmi 2.0 port and a 3.5 headphone jack on the left side while over to the right side you get a usb 2.0 port coupled with a usb type c 3.2 gen 2 port now both the thunderbolt 4 and the usb c port can be used to charge this laptop up Personally I think that Xiaomi could have just really included a USB 3.0 port here USB 2.0 is just well pretty amateur of cost cutting here but let's be honest if you're just using it to connect a peripheral like a, a well an external mouse or something like that it's fine no big complaints there all right so oh yeah by the way the laptop does pass the 100 opening test and moving on let's talk about the display here Now the display is one area where Xiaomi has really been pushing the envelope especially when you compare it with well its competitors. Now the notebook pro here packs in a 14 inch 2.5k resolution panel with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. The highlight here is well as the name suggests the 120 hertz refresh rate which is definitely a welcome addition. Now right off the bat I want to establish the fact that this is by no means a gaming laptop. Can you game on it? Well to find the answer to that make sure to stick till the performance section of this video but yeah this is not a gaming laptop with that being said having a higher refresh rate still comes in quite handy because it means that it's easier for your eyes if you're using a high refresh rate smartphone so you don't have to strain your eyes having to adjust from different refresh rates and also the fact that having a higher refresh rate well makes everything look smoother also one slight note here the laptop does allow you to switch refresh rates between 60 90 and 120 hertz which is another added plus point the panel itself has a 100% srgb white color gamut and works great for content creation as well as content consumption There's no support for HDR here but that should not affect your viewing experience because whether it's Netflix or YouTube everything looks sharp and vibrant on the panel. All right now aiding the display department is the audio department and that is where we have seen some of the biggest improvements from Xiaomi. See last year with the Xiaomi Notebook Ultra that we reviewed one of my biggest complaints was the fact that the speakers on those laptops were downright unusable. They were just so so quiet that It just just forces you to just use a headphone. Now, with the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 120 series, uh while it still has downward firing speakers, they are pretty loud. There's support for the DTS audio processing app as well, which lets you play around with audio settings if you wish to, but even to the normal consumer, they'd be more than happy with the audio output. 
All right, so moving along, let's talk about the keyboard here. Now, this is one area where I want to stress a little bit because I am a writer as well and I you know, really feel <laughs> very connected with keyboard. So yeah, uh, I mean, on the whole, the keyboard here is pretty good. It's mostly positive, but I do have one slight con which I will be talking about. But first, let's just talk about the positives here. You get a nice layout that's super easy to adapt to. The backlighting is quite adequate and evenly laid out. There's a dedicated macro key here, which you can customize as per your liking to launch the app of your choice. And there's also the power button here with the fingerprint scanner built into it that works very well. All right, so while all of that sounds amazing, my only complaint with this laptop is the fact is that underneath the keyboard, there is no evident cushioning. Now, like I said, in the build quality part, there is no flex here, which is good in terms of the build quality. But for a typing enthusiast, that means that it's a hard shell that you're typing on. See, the 1.3 mm key travel is fine, but the hard shell basically means that if you're, you know, for extended typing sessions, your fingers are just going to hurt a lot. At least that was the case with me. And again, this is a very niche thing. I know a lot of folks might not relate to it, which is fine. If you're not someone who exerts a lot of force while typing, then this thing would not affect you. It does affect me, which is why I'm pointing it out. So yeah, again, it's a very personal problem, but even then, I would still say that the keyboard experience on the laptop as a whole is pretty good. Below the keyboard, we have the touchpad and honestly, no complaints here. The size is good, the gestures work very well and the palm rejection is pretty good too. You also get a 720p HD webcam here, which is slightly improved from the last gen. As you can see right here, I mean, the color reproduction is pretty good. Uh, the skin tones are well balanced. Uh, there is some sort of HDR happening here, which is nice. The color gradient here on this corner could be a little bit better, but it's again, much better than most of the webcams out there. And as for the audio and like the microphone quality, you can judge it for yourself. All right, so moving along, let's talk about the performance here. We have the 120G variant with us, which means that alongside the 12th gen Intel Core i5 12450H processor and 16 GB of LPDDR RAM clocked at a whopping 5200 MHz, we also get the NVIDIA MX550 GPU for graphical prowess. There's also 512 GB PCIe Gen 4 SSD here. Now, the only difference between our unit and the normal Xiaomi Notebook Pro 120 laptop is the dedicated GPU, because on that, you would have to rely on the Intel UHD graphics. Starting off with synthetic benchmark, marks, the Xiaomi Notebook Pro absolutely flies. Like literally, just turn the turbo mode on by pressing the function plus K keys and the laptop handles everything you throw at it with ease. Apart from synthetic tests, I also use this laptop as my daily driver for Photoshop and working with multiple layers, the laptop had no stutters. As for video editing, while you can do basic 1080p editing on this, don't go about expecting any sort of miracles from this. Now, like I said, this is by no means a gaming laptop, but I still played Valorant on this, cause why not? Running at the default resolution of 2.5K, I was easily averaging 240 FPS, which is pretty good. As for 1080p gaming, as long as you stick to the low-end graphics, you can do a decent amount of gaming from this in terms of AAA titles as well, such as Far Cry and Forza Horizon 5. On the other hand, the good old GTA 5 runs very well on low settings and can even be pushed to the medium settings while maintaining a smooth 60 frames per second. Now the laptop does heat up a bit, but not a lot, thanks to the dual fan setup inside. For instance, in our testing, a 30 minute benchmarking stress test was able to push this laptop to the 92 degree mark which was obviously inside an AC environment, but it's pretty good for an ultrabook like this one. Other than that, internally, in terms of upgradability, everything is soldered on apart from the SSD. Speaking of which, the SSD here is a decent performer too. Lastly, there's the battery life. Now the Xiaomi Notebook Pro comes with a 56 watt hour battery, which in my use case delivered a battery life of about seven hours, which I would say is pretty good. That includes a ton of web browsing, listening to music on Spotify in the background, editing images on Photoshop and writing scripts too. Now, as for charging, the laptop comes with this 100 watt USB-C charger, which again is nice to have. Now I know a lot of folks will bring out the argument that no, we don't want a charger like this. We want those mobile style chargers. Personally, I would any day pick this thing when it comes to a charger for a laptop. And the reason is pretty simple. One, this one has a longer cable. Two, this thing occupies a normal port. If you just get a mobile charger, that's super thick. And it basically, like if you're using it with a extension port or like a surge protector, that basically blocks the nearby ports as well. It's just pointless for a laptop. Because a laptop is something that, like if you're using it for your workflow needs, is anyway something that you will be like, 
using as a plugged in device for a lot of time especially for high performance mode and for carrying this thing is quite lightweight so it does not really add on to your weight so it's pretty good but even if you still care about it the laptop like i said does support usb pd charging so so if you want to sure you can just use your smartphone's charger to charge this thing up fine this brings us to the pricing like i said apart from the dedicated gpu the laptop is pretty much the same as a normal 120 which is priced for rupees 70000 while the xiaomi notebook pro 120g here is priced for 75000 it's a nice touch from Xiaomi's side to keep everything else the same. Standard 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of storage, all good. Now, here's the thing. A lot of folks have been talking about saying that this laptop is overpriced. If you ask me, no, it's not. See, here's the thing. You need to understand, well, a couple of things. First of all, is the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 120G the best laptop that you can buy under 75,000? No, no. Is it the best value for money laptop out there? Nope. But again, it's not meant to be. It's a modern laptop with latest specifications. I mean, the display here alone costs you a lot if you compare it with other 1080p 60Hz panels. Simply because of the fact that it's a very niche product makes the cost of that hardware in itself go high. Then you also have to factor in the fact that this thing comes with the 12th gen Intel processor. Add to that the fact that it comes with the latest LPDDR5 RAM. So when you club all of that, of course the price will go high. And there's a difference between something being expensive and overpriced. The Xiaomi Notebook Pro 120G is expensive, yes, but it's not overpriced at all. It's very adequately priced for the entire package that it offers. And then you add the MX550 GPU to the lot as well, which is a pretty capable GPU as you saw in the performance section. Now, looking at the alternatives of it, the direct competitor would be the ASUS VivoBook S15 OLED. And comparing both of the laptops, the ASUS one does offer an OLED panel, which a lot of folks would prefer. And it also comes with the i5-12500H processor, which basically offers four more cores for extra performance. However, that thing is heavier and you do miss out on a dedicated GPU. So essentially, just looking at the spec sheet, what I can say is that if the viewing experience of the panel is of the utmost priority to you, then go with the ASUS OLED one. If you want more performance, especially graphical performance, because the CPU performance is going to be better on that one. But if you want more graphical prowess, the Xiaomi Notebook Pro is an easy recommendation. With that being said, if you ask me, like, what on, I want to buy a laptop under 75,000, which one of these two would you pick? Would you suggest? I would say neither of them. And honestly, there's a very strong reason for that. While these are pretty good laptops and there's nothing wrong with them, I am pretty sure that you can squeeze more value for money if you just buy an Intel 11th gen laptop or a Ryzen 5000 series laptop. Those will be discounted right now and they still pack in a lot of power and will easily last you at least three years of usage. And with the upcoming sales, you can score some pretty good deals. Speaking of which, we have a video for the best laptops under 70,000 coming pretty soon. So make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Ron from GTR and I'll see you in the next one.